Welcome to lecture number 2 of our FortiGate installation series where we install a FortiGate firewall on our network step by step. And today's topic is FortiGate's initial setup and the Forti Cloud. So in this video we will connect our FortiGate 60E firewall via GUI and take a look at some of the basic stuff that pops up at the very first GUI login. Then we will look at the more confusing topic of connecting to the 40 Cloud, which in turn connects to 40 Care by making an account on the 40 Cloud step by step. Afterwards, we will briefly have a look at the configurations of our LAN and VAN interfaces and prime up the 40 Gate for internet access. Finally, we will set up a host name and time zone of our 40 Gate firewall in this video. Let's jump in. Now that you have the physical hardware overview of the 48 device, which is at our disposal, it's 4860E to be really specific. Uh, now it's time to really access this device. To access this device, there are basically two ways that you could do that. You could actually connect your console cable over here and configure it via the CLI, which is normally not done. Um, it is done in the VM, I would say, because you don't actually have an IP address on any of these LAN ports. Uh, but in a physical 40 gate device, low end, middle end, 40 gate firewalls, you have the ability to actually connect your Ethernet cable on uh, port 1 and you get an IP address from the 192.168.1.0/24 series. Uh, from this 40 gate firewall because all of these ports have DHCP enabled already. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be connecting um, our cable to this port of the 48, port number 1, and we're going to get an IP address. Uh, well, let me just do that. Okay, I've connected my LAN to port 1 of the 48 firewall, and now let's see what IP address did we actually get. Go into... I don't actually like the Windows sound way of... Uh, seeing that opera, you know, I was I was more like a Windows 7 guy and it was pretty easy to do that, but still. Okay, I have a lot of adopters, but the one that is physical is this Ethernet one. Let's see the details. Now, as you can see, I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.110, size 24 bit subnet mask. The default gateway is 192.168.1.99. And that is also our DSCP server. And we have some DNS servers that 40 Gate already has configured globally. So we get those. We can also change those if you want. Um, and we'll see that um, later. But the thing is we've got an IP address. And the gateway that you've got is basically the 40 Gate's IP address. So if you were to go to 192.168.1.9. 99 and straight away we get this connection error basically what it's saying is that uh, the certificate authority who signed this certificate is not trusted by me uh, so we could actually fix that later uh, so that we don't have this certificate error coming up so we go to advanced for the time being and go to continue um, it is unsafe obviously so here is the first login screen that you see now, by default, as we saw in the pre previous video, you have to type in admin and the password. It has no password. So we do just do login. And now it's saying that uh, type in the old password, the new password, and confirm the password. We don't have any password configured, so there is no old password. So we will leave that blank. And we're going to set up a password here. And there it is. OK. So. Okay, so now we have to re-log in again with our new password. Even if you go from the CLI, it's gonna do the same. That's just, uh, you know, like on the CLI and not on the GUI. GUI obviously is pretty much easier to manage. Uh, okay, so the first thing what I see is, uh, it's saying that 40 gate setup, perform the following steps to complete the setup of this 40 gate. Now specify host name, obviously that's optional, but you should actually specify the host name. It's for your own good. I mean, you, you can manage the devices uh, host name wise, and that's obviously the first thing I do on Cisco devices and stuff. And you have to register with 40 care. Now this step is uh, already done, uh, but I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. 
Um, truth be told, I actually um, booted this 40 gig firewall before making this video series and I actually had to register it with 40 cloud, which is in turn connected to 40 care. Uh, so we are going to be seeing that. Uh, how do you do it? Do that actually in this video. So uh, the change your password that's done. I'm not sure about the firmware upgrade. I don't think it's upgraded uh, to the latest because the latest is a seven. Um, let's see that. Okay, so I'll do that later. I could actually begin it from here or I could just skip it for the time being. Uh, so let's skip it. Now this is the first dashboard you see uh, first off whenever you log in to your 40 gig device. Uh, you can amend this dashboard, but, but we will see that later. But the thing is, the first thing is the licenses. Now, uh, by default, it's not going to be like this, okay? I'm really going to be honest. It's not going to be like this. It's going to be different uh, because you have to register with 40 Cloud. And in turn, it's linked to 40 Care. Uh, so we're going to be seeing how you are going to be making that account and registering your 40 gate firewall. We can't register this one, but I will show you uh, where it is on the 40 cloud and how you can do that. Uh, okay, the first thing first, uh, host name is 40 gate 60 e uh, which is um, the 40 gates model. And then you have the serial number, the firmware version. Aha, there it is. So firmware 6.4, it's not 7X. Uh, so we need to upgrade this. I don't know why I was saying check mark that, okay, it's done. I don't think it's done. It should be, uh, like mm, upgraded and we're going to be upgrading that uh, so uh, licenses uh, first of all let's go to 40 cloud and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make the account and what it looks like now I had to disconnect uh, from the 40 gates LAN uh, because I had to enable my Wi-Fi for the time being I won't ha have access to uh, this firewall I, I could actually do it if I have a static IP configure on my LAN, but for the time being, I want to show you uh, the 40 cloud, what it is and how do you actually register your device with it. So 40 cloud, as you can see already in the search history, also that is in the, is in the history. Uh, so you go into 40 cloud and you click on register. So as you can see, 40 cloud allows you to access all your 40 net cloud services in one place. And 40 cloud, cloud is also integrated with 40 care. So management of entitlement and support is also just a click away. So you get everything in the 40 cloud, everything you need. And if you have licenses binded with your 40 gate firewall, they will also pop up uh, once the 40 gate talks to the cloud. So let's type in our email address here, uh, whatever that might be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, clicking on Nest. So it's gonna send a verification code um, automatically. Let's see if I get the code. So putting in my verification code that I received via email. It's three four five six four seven. Okay, um, captcha. D A. Uh, it's zero P L I guess. Okay, hitting on Next. Verification required. Uh, the code failed. Let me type that again for five, oop, three, four, five, six, four, seven. Oh, great. Typing it again. I hope I don't have any errors this time. Okay, so there it is. So just type in a password for your account and clicking on next. Next, sorry about that. Slip up of the tongue. So here you will put in your company details. Uh, so let me just put that up. So I have put in my details here, just a regular stuff, nothing too fancy about it. And cl clicking on agreement. And it's, you have to, re if you want to read this agreement, which we don't actually do, but I, I wouldn't recommend anyway. <laughs> okay, so hit on register. So as you can see, it's complete now completing the registration and I will be moved toward my asset portal not yet to type in my account login okay so there it is uh, it says you have zero registered products 
Um, you must register products to receive 40 yard services and cut con uh, and contact customer support. So we have to click on register now. If it's a new deployment, you actually go ahead and hit register now. And it will take you to this registering code page, uh, or sorry, the registered product page in which you can uh, put, I think, three things. You can put your serial number of your device, service contract registration code, or license certificate number at the start to start the registration. So you can put that 40 cloud key over here and you can also select non-government employees. Now this particular 40 gate device is already registered with an account and I'm going to be showing you how it actually looks like when you have registered this device. Okay, so we've logged into our specific account on which we have three 40 gate firewalls registered. Um, for some um, privacy sake, I cannot actually show you everything over here, so I have to grade out some things uh, because this is not actually even my account. So um, as you can see over here, you can see three 40 gig firewalls. This is a 40, uh, this is the network overview. And you can actually go into uh, services and asset management. Now in the asset management page, you can see your products. Um, it says you have total three products and you can actually go ahead and see my assets. And you can see those products over here and you can go ahead inside of those, pro uh, those specific 40 gig firewalls and see the entitlements. These are basically the licenses that you have registered with them, uh, with that serial number. And there's a lot actually you can do with 40 gate cloud. Um, on the back end, it's also connected to 40 care. So if you want to do firmware downloads, VM images and stuff, you can actually get those and you can also create a ticket. This is a 40 care. 40 care is basically for, for the support, uh, like create, creating a ticket, managing those tickets, support contact and all those stuff. So this is, um, I would say an essential step and you should take this and for this to really uh, happen, you're obviously your 40 gate has to connect towards the internet at least once. Uh, after some time period, it will want to connect it over uh, to the cloud again. Uh, but the thing is, it just needs to connect to the cloud only once that doesn't re really need to be connected all the time. Uh, but uh, we have connected our 40 gate device once. And as you could see, in that uh, login page, which is, which is not available right now. We will be switching over to the LAN in a minute. Uh, but you saw those licenses popping up like green. Everything was green because 40 gate connected to the 40 cloud once and it didn't really need it to connect it again. So let's hop on to 40 gate now and let me show you how to connect to the van and get internet access on the 40 gate firewall. Okay, we're back on the 40 gig firewall now. And uh, just to show you, I can actually get the CLI or SSH session of the 40 gig firewall as well, uh, because it's enabled by default on that LAN port. So let me just uh, go to 192.168.1.99. Pass, uh, username is admin, password is Okay, there it is. So you can actually get this uh, 40 gate CLI. Uh, you would actually get the same uh, CLI from the console as well. So let's execute a ping to 4.2.2.2. Obviously it's not gonna work because there is no IP address configured for the VAN side and actually there is no cable connected to the VAN side. So let's do that. So to see what's happening with our ports, VAN and LAN, let's go into network that section and interfaces. Pretty simple, right? So we have this hardware switch. Now remember, I told you that the ports one to seven are kind of like bundled in a hardware switch. And this is that bundling and you can see interface members one to seven are present there. This one's green because it's up and I am connected to this uh, port as of right now. Uh, you can remove these ports from the bundling if you want to. Uh, so they all actually, whichever port you connect to, you're going to be falling into this subnet. And it also had DHCP enabled uh, over here. As you can see, the DHCP server is enabled. The address range is 192.161.1110 to 2.110. And this was the IP address I got when I connected my LAN to port 1. 
Um, so uh, this is just, okay, uh, the land that we have over here. Let's go and see the van port that we have. Uh, van 1 specifically. I'll just uh, target Van 1 for the time being. And let's go to Van 1. Nothing pretty much configured here. Uh, DHCP meaning uh, that admin mode is DHCP. So if I plug in a cable and which I am going to be doing right now, I have a cable that has internet access. So maybe you've heard that popping sound of the 48. And in a minute, you should be getting the IP address. So it's green at least. That green basically means the layer 2 is up now. Uh, specifically not the layer 3 as of right now, but it will be. It's uh, not a biggie. They'll get an IP address soon enough. Um, okay, so there it is. So if you've got an IP address of 192.168.25.3, this is the series that is running inside of my home network, which uh, my wireless LAN and LAN users use. So specifically, it doesn't have to be really a public IP address. It can be a private IP address. As long as I get internet access on it, that's pretty much good. Now we can actually get the CLI from the GUI itself. So we have this CLI console over here, uh, which, which, we, which we can go into without logging in and SSHing in. And we can test some stuff out, which we will need to do again and again. So let's try to ping uh, 4.2.2. Now you can do that. And let's try this thing, google.com. So uh, that basically means that DNS is also working now so we've got internet access on this device now as you can see the 48 cloud status is now activated it wasn't activated uh, before this is activated because it's it's now connected to uh, the cloud let's hop on over to the cloud and see if we can uh, see a green symbol on it and let's go to services for a cloud and we're going to be seeing those three firewalls, but the third one, which was my firewall that I'm working on, was uh, not in a green tick kind of symbol. Okay, there it is. The status is now uh, up. The tunnel is up. So basically, we have a tunnel now to the 40 cloud. And uh, you can see the firmware is quite old. It's not new. It's not 7.x. So we're going to be doing that. But the thing is, it's now connected to the cloud. Okay, the last two things that we're going to be doing in this video is that we're going to change the host name from this 40 gate 60 e to something else. And the other thing that we're going to be doing is changing the time zone. So we go into system and we go into um, settings. So we go into settings and then we have this 40 gate 60 e This is the host name. So I change it to DN uh, FDT. Uh, all right, that's pretty much it. And the time zone, uh, we change it to Asia. Where is Asia now? Mm, okay, there, there it is. Islamabad Karachi. So this is basically GMD plus five, which I am right now. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.